What's up guys? So this is a re-upload of my appearance on the television show People's Court. Uh, I had it removed as a copyright strike, so I had to re-upload it with some commentary. So some questions I had were if this was actually a real court case or if this is all scripted and how I ended up on the show. So it is in fact a real court case. This lady did actually sue me and two days prior to my scheduled court appearance, I was contacted by the television show um, asking me if I would appear and allow them to basically be an arbitrator and make the actual decision. I said no. I had no interest in doing so, but they explained to me that they would uh, not only pay me for my time and travel, but they would also pay for any liability. So this lady would sue me for like $3,000. If I lost, they would pay it. So it made sense for me to do that. And uh, it was filmed in a small studio in Connecticut. All right. So let's go ahead and watch this and see how it goes. This is the plaintiff, Jody. She says she purchased a Cadillac Seville with a one-year warranty from the defendant. And when her transmission went, he returned her thousand-dollar warranty payment, told her it wasn't approved, and tried to send her on her way. Nice try, buddy. You can't sell a warranty, and then when something goes wrong, return the warranty money and not fix the car. She's here in the name of justice, suing the unscrupulous car salesman for that two thousand eight hundred dollars. Her new transmission. It's gonna cost her. Oh, so nice to this lady. It's amazing that she ended up suing me. This is the defendant, Abu Dhabi. He says the plaintiff was under the impression the warranty she applied for was a your thing and didn't understand there's an approval process they go through. Unfortunately, her warranty was denied. He offered to fix her transmission for the thousand bucks she paid for the warranty, or he would refund the money to her. She chose Those the people in the background are all actors. And he doesn't understand why he's being sued. He's accused of being a slippery salesman. Slippery my ass, motherfucker. All parties, please get your ID. You know why you and I got out there on foot? Because you started your testimony with what? With all due respect. Do you know what judges hear when they hear with all due respect? With all due respect, comma, you blithering idiot. You got off on the wrong foot because you're a fucking bitch. She doesn't like to be corrected. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the dock of the plaintiff on Cadillac's bill with a one-year warranty. This part was filmed in California. He wasn't actually uh, there. It's in a separate the studio. Warranty. The defendant says the warranty was simply denied. It's the case of he puts the cat in Cadillac. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, Jody, you've asked me for it to only as Jody. You are suing Old Auto Mart LLC, represented here by Abu Dali. You're the owner? Correct. I don't know okay. why they didn't use her full name. The cost and of they stopped me when I said her name, but they say mine. That you are being forced to pay for on a car that you bought from him. All right, and that was warranted by him. Tell me what happened. That's where she fucked up. Um, it wasn't warranted by me. What day? I'm sorry, uh, October 24th, mm -hmm. and, you know, I like the car and everything, and I got approved for the, the loan, and also uh, they included a warranty that I had to pay $1,000 for, which I did. Um, this is almost a no-profit deal for me. This lady gave me a sad-ass story that she wanted to be an Uber um, driver and needed day, help, my check and I helped her. She had terrible credit, so I called them, and, and I, I fucking let them know. Her. And uh, he said, bring the car down. I have text messages. I brought the car down to have to bring it to their mechanic to have it fixed. I brought it to the, to the guy, and I went to, you know, he took me to lunch. And took you to lunch? And yeah, he, like, he left me at a restaurant so they can work on the car. Oh, he didn't take you to lunch. Yeah, no, he, he dropped me over. <laughs> That's a little peculiar. That is a full-service place. Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> he, um, he, he, um, I had lunch and uh, they, while they were working on the car, and then he called me, and he's like, the, they needed part for the sensor. It was only a sensor. So they, they had to order the part. I'm like, okay. So I went home and I didn't, you know, I'm like, when can we do this again? When can we do this again? And I didn't hear anything. And then. She's um, lucky I even did that stuff. That November was all at my own expense. As a courtesy. And, she signed uh, as his form. You know, I didn't have your, uh, shit. Your warranty's not any good. Like, wait, it didn't I'm get sorry, Hold on. At some point, did you take your car to, uh, to your own mechanic? Yes. I that told you that you needed a, a transmission. The mechanic was One trying to rip her off. Need the transmission to be rebuilt. That was bullshit. Two, two mechanics. Wait, why are you looking at him? Come on up. Who is he to you? <laughs> My husband. Okay. What's going on? I'm nervous. Well, they said that the uh, the one mechanic that we brought it down to said that it had to be, the transmission had to be pulled down to replace that part. Then we went to a transmission place, actual transmission, that's all they did. And here's a surprise. The transmission people said he, you needed a new transmission. Yeah, no shit. Okay. 
Um, so what's going on? Uh, Doug, with all due respect, I'd like to start by just correcting your initial statement that they purchased the vehicle from me that was warranted by me. This is uh, why she got incorrect. mad at me because I the corrected The warranty her. that we're, in, we're currently discussing is actually from an independent company. Okay, now, hold no on, because I'm you. confused. I have paperwork that they handed she me. She kept cutting me off also, guys. There were parts of this the that they didn't show you guys. where I was and making her look stupid. And it says, you mark the box that says warranty, and then it says under that the dealer will pay blank percentage of the labor, blank percentage of the parts, and then somebody was lazy and didn't fill that out, and instead writes one year unlimited something. What's that? Judge, uh, I What's can that word? Unlimited, unlimited miles. What? Unlimited miles. miles. One year, and as, then it says, hold on, as per cars, unlimited cars miles. Cars Protection cars, Plus is the name of cars, the uh, warranty is company. the contract that I was pointing out to you, the company that actually provided the now, warranty. Now, here's my question. Do they see that? Of course, she signed this. That's what I want. <laughs> and if I may point out, Paige. No, wait. See, you know, you know why off. you and I got off the wrong foot? Because you started your testimony with what? With all due respect. Do you know what judges hear when they hear with all due respect? With all due respect, comma, you blithering idiot. That's you. basically That's what, what I meant. That's what we hear, even when <laughs> people don't mean it. I did mean it. tell a judge. With all due respect. I'll tell the judge whatever the fuck I want. Right, <laughs> fuck out of here. This is her signature? Correct. Okay. Is that your signature? This lady's playing stupid yes, too, like she never signed these happens. documents. Okay. But you had it at one point because you touched it, because you signed it, right? And that's where the issue lies. Now, what, according to you, did this third party company do? Well, as per page two that you have in front of you, Judge, I saw uh, it. as noted by the asterisk there, they re reserve the right to refuse the coverage for any reason that they see being Incorrect. Fit. It says for cause, which frankly, well, what a bitch I she's acting like warranty. already. I didn't do but nothing for to this cause lady. means Fuck for cause here. they do something wrong. This isn't your problem. Correct. This is going to be the third party. Absolutely. Problem. But this is malarkey, and you should not be referring your customers, because you like your customers, right? Of course. You love your customers. You want to treat your customers right? This, them saying to you, is that what happened? They said that to you? Oh, we reserve the right to cancel any application of service contract for cause as determined by cars. They think that means that if they actually have to pay something for the thousand dollars, if it actually turned out to be a bad bet for them, that they get the bail? Is that what they think? Judge, again, uh, this is actually commonplace as far as Why would you be defending them? I Every single warranty outraged. company Judge, has the again, same fine print and reserves the uh, same right. I don't know I what the fuck she's talking for about. For the customer, as I had many other times, anytime there have been issues. I didn't have to do none of this stuff I did for her. Uh, as I entered the picture, I was brought in. I contact her immediately once I became aware of the situation. Yeah, just get to that point, though. I, I, I will, Judge. Over. And what I did was I did work with scheduling her to come down, go to my mechanic, and make an assessment. At that point, I was already very confident that I had no legal liability to do so. I spent money out of pocket for which I have receipts. I also provided as evidence. I also, as she didn't confirmed, have none of that stuff. I could have just told her to go fuck while herself. The mechanic was looking for the meal on me. Salad. Which, which oh, I on you! Food. It was on you. It was on me. Was it on you? It's a nice salad. Well, that's what you ordered. She had her choice. You can't control yeah. what you order. Fucking yeah. ungrateful <laughs> person. Yeah. Man. Uh, when I realized that there was an issue with the warranty company accepting the warranty coverage, uh, I did have issue with that, and I did go to bat for her. Unfortunately, my hands were tied. I then offered her the option of either my refunding her the whole thousand dollars, the entire amount, which I, I offered to for the fix the whole transmission for that thousand dollars. They're due for sure the thousand dollars, of course. Okay. Or have my mechanic um, utilize my discounted service rates and parts rates and allow him to fix the whole entire car for that same thousand dollars that I already had in house from her. Right. Was that offered? I don't recall him offering me. She's a fucking liar. I, 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 I have text messages. The check for how much? A thousand dollars. We never cashed it because we we're a problem with it. Yeah, I also right. sent them back the thousand dollars right away when they didn't respond if they wanted uh, me to fix we're it. We're denying her. Nothing specific in writing as Well, then to how do we know that they denied you? Did you ever call cars? No, I, I don't. Well, why was, not? The only thing you have them. said cars. Why wouldn't you call them? Everything was through I them. thought I was just... Why are you... Did, did, did they ever tell you we called cars? The purchaser never told me they called cars. No. Yeah, I didn't have to do none of so those things I did for cars? her. I was going I back for her trying to get that warranty on her behalf. Her. And what reason did they give, according to you, to, to deny it? 
They told me specifically that we don't have to provide any specific reason as per our contract. But, They're nuts. But they indicated in, in some way uh, that it was due to the vehicle's age, which sometimes they make exception for and oh, sometimes not. But here's the thing, though. You know the vehicle's age. Yeah. When you sold them this warranty. There is no criteria in the warranty company's information the that decides the whether or not a car is going to be approved. Is in recess. I've had Lush. warranty vehicles that were 20 years old. Is the defendant a Cadillac? Will the plaintiff get Fuck 20 years old? Judge Millian next. This dog attacked one dog. Commercial. He's screaming. And yeah, guys, so this whole thing, I, was, I felt like this I was getting railroaded crazy. by this judge. If this was in an actual this court of law. Court. Um, they would have ruled in my favor immediately uh, once they saw uh, those documents. A company that says, well, if something goes wrong with the car, we have a choice. We're either going to refund the money that you pay for the warranty or we'll fix it. It's our choice. What about that? I don't think that's right. No. Why is it not right? None of these well, people were there. This the is all California. You're getting guys what's your, what's your, what's filmed your afterward. You should be able to rely on the warranty. That's why you buy the warranty. What do you say? I would ride my bicycle. <laughs> okay. I, I, yeah, That's but a good answer. Right, you pay right. money for a warranty. The question is, um, is it fair for them to say it's our option depending on how much the repair costs? No, or else That's I wouldn't pay for it in the first place. Exactly. That okay. is exactly the point, going inside the courtroom. This is a very unusual case. Normally, your side just says... She made us recess for 45 here? minutes I mean, in the middle you know, of the court they have a third party and went, the, went to the back and but called the company. your side is telling me... And they confirmed to her the that I spoke to them and went to the back for them. warranty company. You know what they told me? I called them. And guess what? They have no record of this contract. Because it wasn't no, approved. It was submitted and it was denied. They no record. The only record they have is the one they created in November oh, this bitch when is yelling someone at me. called them to ask about it, yeah, that which was I me. think had to be you. Who in your firm is the person who, you're the owner, right? That's correct. Who mechanically collects that thousand dollars and is responsible for sending it to these folks? The person who committed the transaction, normally one of the salespeople. How, do, what, what do you have in place to know that that, if they're telling me, we have no record of ever having a contract with these people. No, we denied it. She's full of we shit. No I sent her fucking email correspondence from the regional director of that company to do it. stating that that application was in fact submitted and denied. She's full of shit. In this case, on this contract... Okay, so don't just give me some big bill for one month for a bunch of cars because that doesn't prove jack. That's how we submit okay. them. We submit Otherwise, them in blocks you know and pay for them with one check. We don't Somebody's pay individually. Somebody's pocketing the thousand and playing roulette. And I don't think it's you because you're the guy who actually called. You say you called. You say you didn't. They have a record of a call. This lady's fucking... But something shit. smells fishy. Yeah, you. So what's going to happen? Because you're right. So long as you do what you represent you're going to do, which is hand over the money to the company, then you're out of it. But if you can't prove to me, one, that the money went from your, your salesman's hands to the company for this case, and two, that they denied it. Because once you prove the money went to them, you should be able to speak to a supervisor, get a name. Because something's wrong here. If the, how long do you think you'll need to do that? Uh, it should be a matter of a couple days. All right, I'm gonna give you a week. I provided so it all to her within four company. days. Everything. You sell their product. You sold it to them. You're gonna have to get to the bottom of this with supervisors and everything else. I did the most I could, which is gonna freeze this case right now. This is and ridiculous. She didn't even make a ruling. She decided to freeze it. And something this is from them in writing about why they're denying it. You are on your way, and you folks have to sue a different party. If you get me proof that you sent them the thousand and they won't cooperate and give you a reason in writing, you still have to go sue them and you go on your merry way. If you can't get me proof that you sent them the thousand dollars for warranty coverage on this case, you're going to be paying for a new transmission. I'm not paying for shit. You your fucking production that I am making it. you do this and that I don't make other people do this yeah, is bitch, because I have why. never in my life heard... Somebody make Because I made you sound stupid warranty. earlier and you and guys fucking didn't play that part on the show. I have never That's the reason you're doing this. I'm a sale of a third party warranty. Fuck and the third party's warranty saying, uh, oh, you're actually going to use us? Nah, we're not going to cover it. 
the third strike, which has me very concerned, and it should be no trouble at all for you to clear this up for me, but the third strike is when I call. And to get the information, their answer to me is we never had a contract. And that is why you need to figure out what is going on and prove to me that you did your part of the deal, which is hand over the money to them. Because they're saying you did it. So She's full of shit. They never work, said that. We? Thank you, folks, and I will give you my ruling as soon as, soon as the week is over. If I don't hear from him again, he's going to be paying for This is where they fucked up, guys. Right, I have email transaction correspondence with timestamps to the production of, of the show, we'll back and forth, sending them I cannot wait all the evidence that they asked of me. Good luck, folks. And they but played it stupid and acted like I never sent it. So in a rather fascinating case, the final decision is still pending here until you can get some information. This jerk off. You understand what the judge needs from you? Absolutely. You think you can get it? I mean, it'll clear your name if you can. I think I'll have no problem getting it, but I do think that the judge uh, seriously deviated from the whole point of the Big case time. in that I have contractually, um, legally binding documents here indicating this was that an I had no open and shut case, guys. I had no liability. I, I All that shit I did for her will, uh, is just a courtesy out of the kindness of my heart. I didn't have to do anything. How the case deviated Any other car dealership disagree with the judge disagrees with you. In this case... <laughs> it's her decision that counts. Course, you know I that. respect that. Absolutely. All right. Well, good luck. Hope you can get it. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. The plaintiffs are now on their way out of the courtroom. It's amazing you didn't realize there was this third party involved, and you didn't have a copy of that I did, sheet, I know. right? I said they'd get me one. No, but you didn't. You're sure? No, you I have absolutely don't. Right. I have everything else. Well, you've learned a lot today. This is not over yet, so we'll see what happens. Okay. Thank you you all right at the moment? I am. I mean, right you don't have any choice. You you have to be all right. <laughs> okay, that's the way it is. All right, thank you very much, Harvey. Again, fascinating case. What do you think? Okay, uh, Doug. Quick update: the defendant never submitted the warranty application along with the grant. That will do it for this case. Let's the, the next Harvey. case on the way to the courtroom. Right We're lying, now. guys. Come on, I provided them all the evidence that they needed on that. So again, guys, this was my court appearance. Uh, in the end, it didn't matter. That I gave up my rights to an appeal or to fight the verdict because uh, they were paying for everything anyway. So whatever. I ended up losing, but it was bullshit. I should have won this case. It was open and shut. But in the end, I did win because I saved myself the cost of taking time off from work, appearing in court. And something I forgot to mention is in a regular court setting, because I'm a corporation, I have to have an attorney there. They wouldn't allow me to represent myself. So this also saved me that cost as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.